relief in the end last night after the season you'd had to get the nod? Yeah, a little bit. Um, it was good to get the recognition in the end um, after a pretty good year. Um, so yeah, it was good. Was it a bit of, did it feel like a bit of affirmation that you really belong at the level and you know, you're going to be one of the top players in the game? Um, oh, I'm not too sure about that, but um, yeah, it was a bit of that. But also, I think I had that um, belief and confidence um, earlier in the year. Um, the, the, the award um, was kind of just a result of that. But um, yeah, every week I just try to have that confidence that I belong to the level and try to play my best every week. And yeah, it was good to get recognised. And you spoke a bit about it last night, but the, the shift to half back, did you see that playing out as, as well as it did? It seemed like you were a really natural fit in that defensive unit. Yeah, I wasn't really too sure what to expect at the start of the year, to be honest. But um, yeah, it worked out pretty well in the end, and I love the role now, and you get a lot of freedom back there, and yeah, I just enjoy it. How important was it having um, Jack Zebel down there early on in the season when you when you were starting out? Was was he a really important guide down there for you? Yeah, he, him and many others. Like Zebel is great. He's played everywhere on the ground. Um, he's really versatile, which is kind of where I see myself um, being like that versatile player and he just gave me a lot of confidence back there um, to just do my thing and play with freedom and same as El Mac and a lot of the other boys so yeah it was, it was great. And if you stay down there next season will you consider yourself one of the one of the leaders of that unit as possible there's a few more personnel changes you, you sort of think that you've learnt from from Jack and you can kind of take up some of that yeah. responsibility? Yeah I'd like to think so um, I haven't really thought about it too much and not too sure where I'll play or who'll be down there, but um, yeah, I'm definitely working on my leadership and trying to drive the group. And yeah, if that happens, it yeah, it happens. You spoke last night about how you tried to follow Nick Dacos. Is that something you also look to him going into your second season? The way he was able to been able to pick it up before yeah. the second year Blues. Is that oh. something you'll follow again? Yeah, oh, he's had an unbelievable um, first two years, um, and yeah, Clarko actually mentioned him the first time he mentioned moving to half back and said, look what he's done in his in his first year, so yeah, it kind of ended up being pretty similar to his first year, but um, yeah, oh, his second year's been incredible, so if I can go anywhere near that, it'd be pretty cool. You mate, George Wardlaw, who was there last night, he'll be eligible for the award again yeah. next season, if you back him in to get a full season yeah. together and clean up? 100%, I was saying that last night, he'll, he'll win it next year. Um, and just your, your tip for the finals, um, who yeah. do you see as the, the front runners for the flag? Yeah, I think Melbourne. They were really good the two times we played them. Earlier in the year, they smashed us, and then in Hobart, they um, fought back and, and got us um, in the end, yeah.